Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you're experiencing problems with your mouse cursor on your Windows computer. So if you notice your Windows 10 cursor seems to be freezing often, this tutorial will be for you guys. So we're going to jump right into it and we're going to start by opening up the start menu. And you just want to left click on it one time to open it up. And you want to type in device manager and you want to give it a second to come up. And the best metric comes up should say device manager directly above control panel. So you want to left click on that one time to open it up. Okay, so now in the device manager window, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to where it says mice and other pointing devices. And I'm going to click on the little arrow next to it to expand the view. You can also double click on the mouse and other pointing devices as well. And you want to look for whatever your main pointing device is. So I'm on a virtual environment here, so it might look a little bit different for you guys. But let's say this is my main mouse here. And what I want to do is right click on it and then left click on update driver software. And then you want to search automatically for updated driver software by left clicking on that one time. And this will take a moment, so just be patient. and it might say that the best driver software for your device is already installed. If that is the case, you can click on this little back arrow up here. And then what I'd recommend doing is going online to the manufacturer's site. So on your mouse, it probably will say what kind of mouse it is. You might want to look it up and if you wanted to go on their website to try and download the software. And in most cases, it will automatically have a tool that will automatically download and install it for you. However, if you do not, you can always click on browse my computer for driver software, the second option and then just manually locate the driver after you've downloaded it from the internet. So that's an alternative way as well. And I'd recommend updating your other pointing devices in here as well. If the first one didn't work and you have multiple listed in here, it's going to ask if you want to restart your computer now. Select no. And I would recommend restarting your computer in between each one of these just to see if it resolves your problem. And the second thing that I could suggest would be to close out of the device manager. And after you've already exhausted the previous method, I'd recommend going down to the taskbar and right clicking on it and then left clicking on task manager. If your task manager view looks like this, you can click on this more details button right here. And now you want to look for something on the left side that says pointer or mouse. I don't personally have one listed here, but if I did, I'd be looking for something that said mouse pointer or something along those lines. And just to give you an idea of what to expect and what I recommend you guys try is if you can find one like that, you'd want to right click on it. Is you want to right click on it and then left click on properties. And then you want to go to the compatibility tab up here, left click on it. And then underneath compatibility mode, check mark inside this box to run this program in compatibility mode for it. and I'd recommend selecting either Windows 7 or Windows 8 and then you click on apply and OK and then again I'd recommend you restart your computer and hopefully your problem has been resolved so I hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out and as always thank you for watching and I will catch you in the next tutorial goodbye